There's beauty and there's horror. Those two things are held in a tension between those two opposites. That's an interesting place to make work because those two things, by rights, shouldn't exist in the same place. And because they do exist in the same place in Afghanistan, it's very strange and disorienting. I can't stop this war from happening. But if you drop $2 billion worth of weaponry on the place, it's going to look a mess afterwards. And I can photograph that mess and try and show the kind of consequence of you know, what it must have been like to be under that bombardment. I'm not particularly want to talk about individual stories like a journalist perhaps would, but I am interested in showing sort of something about what happened to the Afghan people. The damage was extraordinary because the war in Afghanistan has been going on so long now, 23, 4 years, that you see different levels of the war. You can see different technologies and when they arrived. It's like looking at geological strata. There's a very long tradition in English art of the Trail of Ruins that goes back to the 16th century landscape painting. And that great tradition is always a thing of empires, are they rising or falling? Light in those paintings is always this amazing side light. It's always a dawn light because you're never sure whether I'm looking at a dawn or a dusk. Is this the beginning of a new era or the end of an era? I want the work to be, to challenge you and to make you realize that uh, war can sometimes be very beautiful, but it's always horrific, always horrific.